Hallelujah. Be thankful that you don't already have everything you desire. Jesus. That's right. If you did, what would there be to look for? Be thankful when you don't know something, for it gives you the opportunity to learn. Be thankful for the difficult times. During those times you grow. Be thankful for your limitations. Yes. Because they give you opportunities for improvement. Be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your strength and your character. Be thankful for your mistakes. They will teach you valuable lessons. Be thankful when you're tired and weary because it means you've made a difference. It's easy to be thankful for the good things. A life of rich fulfillment comes to those who are also thankful for the setbacks. Gratitude can turn a negative into a positive. Find a way to be thankful for your troubles and they can become your blessings. That's not a scripture, but it's a poem. We can say amen. I will give you thanks, Psalm 118, 21. I will give you thanks for you answered me. You have become my salvation. Colossians chapter 4 verse 2. Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Yes. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 28. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. That's a good place to praise God. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful. And so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. First Chronicles chapter 29 verse 13. Now our God. We give you thanks and praise your glorious name. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Yes. Psalm 107 verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 100 verses 1. Shout for joy to the Lord. Shout for joy to the Lord. All the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 4. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 8. Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3. We ought always to thank God for you, brothers, and rightly so, because your faith is growing more and more, and the love in, in the love every one of you has for each other is increasing. Psalm chapter 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I am helped. And I am helped. And I am helped. My heart leaps for joy. And I will give thanks to him in song. Colossians chapter 2, 6 through 8. So then, just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live in him, rooted up and built up in him. Rooted up and built up in him. Rooted up and built up in Christ, strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. Psalm 75 verse 1, we give thanks to you, O God, we give thanks, for your name is near. Men tell of your wonderful deeds. First Thessalonians chapter 5, 16 through, through 18, be joyful always, be joyful always, be joyful always, be joyful always. Be joyful always. Pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances. All is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Psalm 107 verse 15. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1. I urge then first of all that, that requests, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everyone. Psalm 95 verse 2. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise, with songs of praise, with songs of praise. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 4 I always thank God for you because of his grace given to you in Christ Jesus yeah. Ephesians chapter 1 15 through 16 for this reason ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints I have not stopped giving thanks for you remembering you in my prayers 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 
Glory to God. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. For everything God created is good. Somebody say good. And nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving. Psalm 118, verse 28. You are my God and I will give you thanks. You are my God and I will exalt you. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15. All this is for your benefit. So the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving. Uh, to overflow to the glory of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 11, you will be made rich in every way. You will be made rich in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Oh, that thing could preach all by itself. Hallelujah. Psalm 69, verse 30, I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, but thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through Christ Jesus, our O Lord, Jonah chapter 2 verse 9 but I with a song of thanksgiving will sacrifice to you what I have vowed I will make good salvation comes from the Lord in Psalm chapter 118 19 open for me the gates of righteousness I will enter and give thanks to the Lord ladies and gentlemen every day is thanksgiving in the life of a believer I don't know about you but every day when I wake up in the morning I'm thanking God that he's opened up the gates of righteousness when I wake up in the morning I thank God for opening up the gates of mercy every day when I wake up I thank God for giving me another chance to walk in the anointing every day when I wake up I thank God chance to be healed. Every day when I wake up, I thank God for another chance to be delivered. Every day when I wake up, I thank God for another chance to be set free. And not just set free, but free indeed. For who the sun sets free is free indeed. Happy Thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving Sunday. You got something to be thankful for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit, sit. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. We've got something to be thankful for. Believe that foolish lie from the enemy that you don't have nothing to be thankful for. The question is asked around this time of year, why are you so thankful? Why are you so thankful? What do you have to be thankful for? But I answer the question this way. If you want to know why I'm thankful, take a look at the one I worship. If you want to know why I worship, look at the character of the one I worship. If you want to know why I'm thankful. Look at the grace provided by the one I worship. If you want to know why I'm thankful, look at the mercy that comes from the one I worship. And if you look at the one I worship, you'll understand why I'm thankful. Why I'm thankful. Why I'm thankful. John chapter 3 verse 16. Y'all know that one? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. If you've got everlasting life, say yes, I've got it. Come on, say yes, I've got it. Say everlasting life. Everlasting life. Look at the one I worship. He's given me everlasting life. Was it Johnny Cash that said, can't nobody, can't no grave hold this body down? Excuse me, pardon me, Mr. Cash. The grave will hold your body down. But to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. The grave will hold your body down. But Jesus Christ will lift you up Take your spirit to the heavenlies where you'll have everlasting life. Look at the one I worship. He's given me everlasting life. 
the scripture says that he came, Jesus came. I, that you, might have life. John chapter 10, verse 10. That I might have life, that you might have life, and have it more abundantly. If you want to know why I'm thankful, if you want to know why I worship, it's because he's given me abundant life. He wants me to have abundant life. This word abundant means plentiful. Say plentiful. Providing a more than plentiful supply of something. More than plentiful. Found in quantity. Existing in large quantities. I believe when Nisi and I forgot the other girl's name. Anybody know that? Nisi and Nikki. Nikki. Mickey. Mickey, yeah. <laughs> Mickey was a short one. So when they got over to the door, and, uh, and I know that the man's name was Alfred, really, but they called him. The guy, the guy from Batman. They called Manly. They called him Alfred. Manny, and they called him Alfred from Batman. <laughs> and they would say, uh, they would say, "Oh, Alfred." He was like, "My name is Manny." When he first came to the door, and you know, Manny was very proper. Perhaps he was from Montclair. <laughs> Chachis. And he asked them, well, how do you do? You know, or perhaps when they got to the door, he said, what do you want? Because he thought they were begging for stuff. I think they were in Beverly Hills. And Mickey, she said, she said, we live in large and take in charge, big boy. That's what God wants the believer to say. He says, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm living large and take in charge. Come on, find somebody say, I'm living large and taking charge. He's given me the ability to rule on this earth. To stomp on every snake and scorpion. One more time, say, I'm living large and taking charge. Ask me why I'm thankful. God wants me to have an abundant life. Ask me why I'm thankful. It's because I have an umbrella of protection. Say, umbrella of protection. During trouble troubled times you, you've got some protection yes. over you. isn't it wonderful to know that when you walk in the valley of the shadow of death that you have the ability not to fear evil because you know that somebody's with you and he's the somebody of all somebodies he's the man of all men you want to know what a real man is look at Jesus Christ look at my God he is somebody his rod his staff, it comforts you under an umbrella of protection. Psalm 32 verse 7 says, you are my hiding place and you surround me with songs of deliverance. In the midst of trouble, this umbrella of protection will allow you to sing a song. Songs of deliverance. Ask me why I'm thankful.